Well, yesterday I mentioned about the windows in my vlog. Look what's happening today. Pete's not doing any work for the campground. This, I think it's the way he's eating and all the supplements and everything he's on. He just has so much energy, he doesn't know what to do with himself. He's just, well, he's up and at him early in the morning until nighttime, and he just keeps right on going. This one's done now, because I said, oh, look at the difference. Wow. Oh, my. These were worse than I thought. Because I, I said that, uh, can I help you? Can I help you, Chewy? You can't come up my, or maybe you can. My computer's here. Uh, hi, Chewy. Maybe he wants me to open that curtain so he can get on the back of the couch. Anyway, um, yeah. So there we have it. We're going to have nice, clear pictures now. Even in the bedroom. He had the steamer out, and he was steaming. He cleaned the inside of the car already. All the inside windows, the dashboard, the seats, everything with the steam cleaner. <laughs> Did all that. And now, here he is, doing everything else. Wow. That's pretty clear. Um, another perfect Michigan day. It was supposed to be in the 30s last night. I don't know if it got there or not. Um, I, I used my extra blanket, which I have over me right now, too. I'm not dressed yet. Back to old habits. White Chewy. Chewy's sitting here on my chest because my laptop's on my lap supposed to be in the low 70s and sunny all day today back to our typical weather now see if all of our summers were back like they used to be in this the way this one has been where most like probably 80 percent of the days have been in the 70s and sunny we had a couple in the 80s couple in the 90s couple in the 60s a few days of rain but other than that it's been perfect. There's the laundry. One basket. Two more baskets. So, got that to do today, too. There's Leland's little monkey he left here. There's Leland's jacket he left here. <laughs> so, okay, I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> 6 28 this morning they emptied that dumpster right outside the window yep they emptied that it's closer than it appears of course right chewy man i will never again get a dark blanket every little piece of lint for everything Anyway, whatever. Pete's out there in the screen house, listening to his radio. Between two of those poles, that's, did you see that wasp? I don't know if you can see it. Let me sit down. There have been wasps, there were wasps coming and going between two of those posts. There's a wasp there. See, right there was where they were coming and going. Pete soaked it down with wasp spray on both sides. The wasps keep coming and they can't decide what to do. One tried, not yet, Tui, don't jump up here now. One tried to get in there and then he kind of fell down into the plants down there. Another one did go in, but I haven't seen him come out. So they just don't know what to do. So he's got to keep an eye on everything. So Dad and Kim are out there talking to some people that are staying here and they have a little dog. Some other people just walk by. Apparently that group that's up there, I don't know if you can see it. There you go, just to the left of those trees above the steering wheel here. 
slightly to the left. That's apparently a party bus. He said there's like 10 people in there. And they're ready to have a great weekend. It feels like a typical up north summer summer day or evening. Chilly. Everybody wears a sweater. Or, well, not everybody, obviously, but most people usually do. Where'd that dog go? There he is. But, um, other dog's just like, let's just get on the road here, guys. So, it is a typical late summer, up north evening. I don't know what the temperature is. I'd say it's probably in the mid, maybe even lower 60s. Very typical. So, I want to go get everything out of the oven and fry up my steak. Oh, Pete likes his burger. She's got some organic ketchup for him, too. So. All right. I will see you guys later. Bye. Well, there's Pete's dinner. Two black bean burgers. They look pretty good. They taste pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. My first attempt. And then a spaghetti squash stuffed with mostly tomatoes with some cheese on top. Because he's not allowed to have lots of cheese. Or he's just not supposed to have dairy. But whatever. And that's his dinner. And I'll show you mine when I get it plated up. Okay, there's mine. Steak, part of my steak, which I cut up and drizzled ketchup on. And I started to take apart my spaghetti squash, you know, take the spaghetti part away. <laughs> Hi guys, it's, I forgot what time it was. I just looked before I sat down. Let's see, can you see the clock? Uh, there's a clock. There it is. Can you see what time it is? Okay, now you know and I don't. So, I was already getting and going in the bedroom. I just took my nighttime meds and stuff and realized I hadn't said goodnight. So I came back out here because Pete's already sleeping. I just spent the evening playing the keyboard, um, practicing for Sunday. So, uh, I did upload a song earlier and I'm going to play that during the offering on Sunday. But, um, anyway, so I was practicing and playing, and then I saw a song on here which kind of intrigued me, because I really like the words. The words really intrigued me, so I heard it in my head, and I thought, I really like that, and here's how I want to play it. <laughs> so uh, I, had to, I had to put that together, figure out the registrations and multipads and the instrumentation and stuff, so... Uh, that was kind of fun because I haven't been able to do that in a long time. I haven't had time. I just don't have time to do my fun stuff that I like to do. So that was kind of fun. Because tomorrow's a big long day. Which will culminate in picking up the kids from a babysitter, Lyra and Leland. And tomorrow night will be Lyra's first time spending the night in the RV. We will see how that goes. Um, but it should be fun stuff. And uh, let's see. It'll be a little tight, but pretty much we'll get them back here and it'll be bedtime for everybody. I'll take care of my birds and get them ready for bed. Then we go to bed. And I guess uh, Casey and Bill, I said, why don't you just come to church? I'll take them to church. You come to church. It'll be fun to all go to church together again. So hopefully that's what they'll choose to do to get the kids back. Um, tomorrow in church we're, we're um, doing Leland's favorite hymn, which is, um, I'm so tired. It, it's, um, oh, how I love Jesus. He knew that one before he knew Jesus loves me. Pete really liked his bean burgers. So I had never made them before. Basically, I just, he's not supposed to have eggs, but I figured one egg for four burgers, you know. Um, he hasn't had an egg in weeks. They have choline in them, and choline is something that assist cancer to grow so you don't want to have it but yeah um let's see what i have in it he's walnuts are really good 
against prostate cancer. So he doesn't care for walnut, nut, walnuts too much. So for the uh, breadcrumb portion, I'm chopped up walnuts with a couple of my sourdough low carb crackers instead of breadcrumbs. But um, let's see, drain can of black beans and some onion maybe. I don't. I'm not gonna give how much. Um, some onion, some uh, red and yellow peppers, and. Uh, Let's see, a bunch of cumin, uh, flax seed, ground flax seed, uh, chili powder, salt and pepper. He gets Himalayan pink salt. Um, there was something else, I thought, but maybe not. And then the, well, you know, my idea of breadcrumbs and an egg. And, uh, you know, made like ground beef and held together in patties and But, you know, what the thing was, I noticed is it was, you're supposed to grill them or bake them. or didn't, didn't, you know, not fry them. So, but one thing I noticed is that without any fat in it, I mean, it was just, like, you gotta have some kind of fat. So, um, next time I'll probably throw a handful of cheese in. A handful of cheddar cheese or something. Cause it's got to have some kind of fat. Or maybe a little bit of his um, organic mayonnaise. Or something. And just put a few more crumbs in. Anyway, I'll mess it. They didn't fall apart like I thought they would. But they really, they got to have some kind of fat. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Lots to do. Lots going on tomorrow. And I uh, hope you guys all have a sensational Saturday. Hope you have fun stuff playing for your weekend. All work and no play, you know what they say. So for tonight, take care. God bless. Get a good night's sleep. And good night.